Hello me TBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a three day wear test of three different lip liners from the drugstore. Now I've always been interested because there's so many lip liners out there that I get a little overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't know which one has the best formula. I don't know which one's the most pigmented, the one that lasts the longest, the one that's the most affordable. Like I just don't know and I really don't wear lip liners, but this is a season of getting into lipsticks and stuff. So I figured I could sit down and wear each of these for the same amount of time each, like the following day, and see which one I think is worth the money or which one I think is the best out of these three formulas. So if you guys like these types of videos, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up so I know. I'm trying to do these like three day wear test things. Let me know if you guys like that better than a single day wear test. I feel like it gives you a little bit more information on the product and just how it does. I just got back from a four and a half mile hike, looking a little crazy and the hair is just doing its own thing right now. <laughs> Before we hop in, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I have three different lip liners here, all affordable that you can get at Ulta. The first lip pencil I have is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. Now this one is the most nude out of all of them and I try to get the, like, the nude shades out of all of these three. This is what this one looks like. So it's definitely is, I think, the most nude. I've heard really good things about the ColourPop lippy pencils. I love ColourPop products, but I've never tried a lippy pencil before. I also have the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, True Instant Color. It says long wearing, easy glide formula to line and film. This is also in the shade nude, but it looks a little dark and more mauve -y. Then I have the Essence Stay Eight Hours Lip Liner. This is waterproof and it has a sharpener. This is in the shade Because Duh. <laughs> and this is also a nude, but it looks like a little darker. So it looks like the ColourPop one is definitely the lightest shade that I have. But I think today I'm going to start with the ColourPop one because I think I'm the most excited for the ColourPop one. I'm going to be lining my lips with this, telling you guys my thoughts first by first application, and then adding this Buxom plumping full on lip cream in the shade White Russian. This is a very light, light, light pink. It, it almost is clear. So I'm just gonna add a couple little spots. I just don't want to just wear lip liner all day. I want to be able to make like have something else on top of it. So I figured this is like the lightest, less pigmented lip gloss that I have. So I'm gonna be wearing this on top of all of them just to make sure that I'm like being consistent with that. I do know that this lasts a super long time on my lips. I got all of these lip pencils on the Ulta website. So just going through some of the prices of these, the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF was $6. This Milani Color Statement Lip Liner was $4.99. And then the Essence Stay 8 Hours Waterproof Lip Liner, which I just threw, ugh, was $2.99. So this is the cheapest option out of all three that I have. The ColourPop one is the most expensive. And it doesn't have as many claims, I feel like, as the other ones do. It says that it creates clean lines to prevent feathering disasters with our long wearing and super pigmented lip liner designed to be worn under your favorite matching lip color. So that's what it's supposed to do. Like I said, we're gonna start with the ColourPop one today. I'm gonna see you guys a little bit closer. We'll get to testing out the products. So right now it's about 4.20 and I am going to be wearing this till the very end of the evening. So at least five, six hours. I feel like that's really the the like longest time I would wear a lipstick for. I know that the Essence one says it's an eight hour. We'll see if it even lasts six. <laughs> And yeah, so here's an up close look at the ColourPop liner. It has the lid that has the shade on it. It says a ColourPop lippy pencil. I feel like you have to sharpen this, but then it also is like, this is like plastic. It's in a plastic container. So is this all you get? No. It says our lippy pencils can be sharpened. Make sure your sharpener fits your lippy pencil perfectly and that the blade is nice and sharp so you don't waste any product. So I do have a regular like eyeliner type sharpener from NARS. So I guess I would just use that. And I will dive more into the other two on the days that I'm using those. But apparently you can sharpen these. I was gonna say, if it's just, you just get that much product, that's rip off. <laughs> I'm always horrible at applying lipstick. I just am. I feel like if I found a lip liner that worked for me and matched me pretty well, like what matched my lips well, where it didn't make my lips look super dark. I feel like that's always a problem. I have the nudes that, you know, people say are nudes. They're not nudes. They're really, really dark on me. This looks like it could be the exact same shade as my lips. 
So if I could find a lip liner that works, I would definitely continue to repurchase it and use it because it does help line out my lips when I'm just like, you know, I'd rather use a lip liner and get my lips totally perfect without just going in just with the lip product that I'm going in with. Does that make sense? Like I feel like I'm sloppy when I just go in with a lip product instead of using this first. Just gonna try and start lining. It's definitely dark, a little darker than my lip color. One thing I do like about this is it doesn't seem to be super mauve-y, whereas these other two ones look like they could be very mauve. I feel like I always have a hard time like lining this section of my lips. But using something like this lines them a little bit better. That's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty close to my natural lip color. I do feel like it did a nice job lining my lips. Like that was pretty easy. I mean, I definitely feel like just in general using a lip liner, I get a cleaner line when I'm using it on my lips. It is, I think it's like as close as I'm ever gonna get to my natural lip color. It's definitely more nude and not nearly as mauve -y, and it's not as bright as it looks like in the lid. This definitely looks a bit pinkier on the lid than on the lips, but I'm not mad about it. I do think that it's a nice color. Hopefully, like I think lip liner is supposed to help with things not feathering, which I definitely have happened with, you know, when I'm wearing lip products. I'm gonna go ahead, add just like a few little dots of this. I don't think that changes the color of the lip pencil at all. I think the lip pencil looks really nice. It was easy to use and it feels pretty comfortable on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear it throughout the evening, see how it does with eating. And you know, hopefully even if the lip gloss wears off, the lip liner is still underneath it. Cause I would even just wear it like this. Like I would wear just the lip liner and not even put another lip product on top. We'll check back a little bit later, but this has to wear pretty dang well for, because it is the most expensive for me to want to like purchase this or say that it's like the winner because it is the most expensive product. It is $7.34. I know that I put this liner on around four. It's only been on for like three and a half hours at this point. I wasn't aware it longer, but it just started kind of rubbing off anyway. And I'm like, is it worth it? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be putting it on for that long. I would say that it like lasted a decent amount of time. I do feel like, I don't know if you guys can see this. I feel like it feathered a little bit, like just in the bottom part and then right here. Cause I mean, I, d I did just eat. So like if I add more, there we go. That's like the only place on my lip that it came off. I feel like after eating, corners of my lip look a little faded and like a little f spread out. The lip gloss has totally come off at this point and it's just the lip pencil. It's very comfortable on the lips. Like I could wear this all day long. The only thing is I don't know if it's the longest lasting lip liner that I'm gonna try out of all of these because both these other ones have good reviews about them lasting like a super long time. Yeah, I think that this is good. It's a good start. And I'm curious to see how the other two do in comparison to this one, just because like I said, I don't normally wear lip liners. So I don't know. I don't know if I added a liquid lipstick on top if I wouldn't have had this feathering deal, but I feel like the lip liner should be good on its own and not because you have to add another product on top of it, you know? Off to day two. Okay, guys, it is the second day and right now it is 4.18 in the afternoon. I think today I'm going to try out this Essence Stay 8 Hours Lip Liner. This is the waterproof one with the sharpener in the end, which is super awesome. It says smooth lip liner for precise contouring, waterproof with non-transfer, lasts up to 8 hours. This is like liquid lipstick claims here and it's just a lip liner. So I'm curious to see how it goes on. I do like that it is a retractable liner. That's awesome. And I'm basically just gonna do the same thing that I did yesterday and add the Buxom lip gloss on top. When I'm filming this, I'm actually gonna go to the Bachelor uh, like finale party that my mom is having later today. So I'm gonna be drinking a lot, eating a lot and we're, we're really gonna put this to the test. I'm not gonna test it for a full eight hours, but I'm hoping 420 right now, I'm going to at least wear this till like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I will come back at the end of the night and share like how it held up. This one looks darker than the other one. Hmm, I don't know if it necessarily is though. <laughs> like the packaging itself looks darker. So this one's a little bit harder to apply just because the tip is so much smaller, which is not a bad thing compared to the ColourPop one yesterday. Like just look at those. 
The Essence one is just so skinny. So it's taking a little bit longer to apply this, but it's, it, I mean, it's giving me a really sharp line and stuff. Mmm, I like this color. I might like this color on me better than the ColourPop one. I will just swatch them side by side so you can see that is the Essence one. And then here is, oh, 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 falling on the floor. And then here is the ColourPop one from yesterday. Definitely the ColourPop one is more nude. Maybe I like that color. I don't really know. The one I'm trying today, the Essence one, is definitely darker than the ColourPop one yesterday, but I do like the color. It's like a little bit more dark and mauve-y. All right, here's what it looks like the lip liner on. I can definitely feel this one more than the ColourPop one. It's stickier. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Buxom Gloss. Here's how it looks with the gloss on. I'm gonna go ahead and wear it throughout the evening. I will check back, but you know, so far, it looks nice. I mean, it is darker, a little bit more vampier than the other one, but I still like it. I think I just feel it on my lips a little more than the ColourPop one. So I will be back at the very end of the night. I'm back. It is 9.45 in the nighttime. I'm very tired. Here's how the lipstick is looking. I definitely would not say that it is eight hours, but I would say that it lasted longer on my lips than the ColourPop lips that lip liner did. You can still see it a little bit on the edges of my lips. I would say like right in the middle of my lips has totally worn off. It is on the inside of my lips though. I mean, it did not feather, which is super nice. And I would say that it lasted a little longer than the ColourPop one. I don't think it would last up to eight hours, but I also am only wearing these lip liners on their own, not so much adding something on top of it. Maybe it would wear differently if I wore like an actual lipstick on top. We have one lip liner to go. That's tomorrow. This is the Milani one. We're gonna have to see how it wears. I think this, I might like the color of this better than the Essence one. Just the Essence one was super dark. So I could see me wearing this with like a darker vampire lip, wearing the ColourPop one with a lighter, more like nude lip. And then maybe this with a, like a mauve rose type of shade. It was kind of I have like three different lip liner shades that are all supposed to be somewhat nude that have different undertones. So we will see how the Milani one is tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed because I'm really tired. It is day three of this lip liner deal. It is 2.30 right now in the afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and undo the Milani one because this is the very last lip liner I have to test out. And this is in the shade Nude, even though it looks darker than Nude. <laughs> this liner was $4.99. I have the shade Nude. There's also the shade All Natural, All Natural. I didn't know which one to pick between. They both seem pretty nude. But this is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. It says that it is a seamless application, even color with every stroke. It's a luxurious matte finish that's the perfect companion to extending the wear time of your favorite lip statement lip color. I don't have any of those. Oh, there's even a Milani Easy liner mechanical lip liner pencil that one is a dollar more than this one I think you do have to yeah sharpen this because it's a wood pencil now this one is interesting because it doesn't have a lot of claims like eight hours or non fading or like it just it doesn't really have a whole lot of claims on it it just says long wearing but that I don't know what that means out of all of the pencils so far, I do like the retractable one that you can just twist instead of having to, you know, use a wooden pencil like this. So I like that way to apply lip liner better. It is very easy to apply. It is very pigmented. It feels like a soft matte finish. All right, that's what it looks like on the lips. I do really like this shade. I would not say that it's a nude. <laughs> I would say that it's like a darker mauve shade. I do like it, it feels very lightweight on the lips. I would have to sharpen it already just by how it's like how much I used of it today. So that's kind of a bummer. I'd have to like resharpen it every time I use it. But in terms of the shade and the formula so far, I do really like it. I think it's a very pretty shade. I could even just wear this like matte on its own. That is what the shade looks like with a little bit of gloss on it. So it's still like 2, 229, 2.30. So I'm gonna wear this for the next couple of hours, see how it does with eating some food. And well, I will come back at the very end of the day and I will tell you like which lip liner I would choose after wearing each of these for a few hours 
and which one lasted the, the best amount of time, which one I thought was the better deal, like all of those. I do really like this color. I could see myself wearing this color a lot. These are like the colors that I really, really like to wear are these like kind of darker mauve -y type shades. I'll check back in at the very end of the evening and we will wrap up this video and I can tell you my thoughts on each lip liner. It is the very end of the evening. It's like 9.20. Here's how the lips are doing. I actually really liked this formula. I felt like it was comfortable and matte on the lips. It wasn't as sticky as the Essence one. I'm not loving the, the wooden lip liner. I really do like a retractable lip liner more, but I do like the formula of it. Now, I put this on at two. So this was on for like seven hours and it definitely rubbed off. Like I'll show you. This is what it did look like. I would say that it fades around the like four or five hour mark. And I did eat and, you know, drink and that kind of thing with this on. But as you can see, I just added a little bit on the inner part of my lips and it is fine. I think that it lasted, you know, just fine on the outside of my lips. I didn't notice as much feathering as the ColourPop lippy stick. I will say out of these three lip liners that I tried, I did like the ColourPop one and this Milani one the best. I guess the Milani one is only like a dollar-ish cheaper than this one. This has much nicer packaging than this one. I would say that the Essence one was just a little stickier and like heavier than I really loved. I know that people really like the Rimmel lip liner, so maybe I should have included that, but um, out of these three, I would definitely recommend these two lip liners. In terms of like color and lasting ability, I do really think that these two are the winner. And I might even say that the Milani one, I think performed a little bit better than the ColourPop one, but I would definitely purchase more shades of both of these. There you have it, those are my thoughts. If there are any other lip liners that you would like me to test out or any other lip products you'd like me to test out and compare and do wear test stuff, then let me know that down in the comments because I'm loving doing these like testing products and you know, comparing them type videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.